Hey guys and gals, A here. Welcome to another episode of EDC. So today I have a new video for you. I will be talking about the wallet that I have been using for the past several weeks and my opinions on it. So wanna know what that wallet is? Come on back because here we go. All right, guys and gals. So I am an Alpaca Gear ambassador. So they will uh, send me products and I test them and then I review them for you guys. And uh, I have been testing out the Zip Pouch Pro. And now this is a, uh, this is a um, pouch, uh, zipper style pouch. It has the zipper on the top. It also has a front zipper. And then you have one slip pocket here and then on the reverse side, you have two slip pockets, one taller one and one shorter and wider one. So you have the main zipper. On one side, you have one pouch and then a shorter pouch, but a wider pouch. And then on the reverse side of that is another zipper compartment and then just a single pouch. So, uh, or slip pocket, I guess we could call them. So three slip pockets, two zipper pouches. Um, you can use this as an organizer. You could put, you know, stuff in here and drop it into a bag and keep your gear organized. You could probably turn this into a little EDC kit ready to rock and roll. You potentially could even use this as like a small little boo-boo kit. Um, it could run as a tech kit. You could keep your cables in here, a very small battery bank. Um, but most people use this as a wallet. It works very well to hold your cards uh, and some gear. And that's what I have it set up as. So I've been running it as my wallet. Inside of this slip pocket, I have kept nothing. Um, I've left that one blank just because I like the slimness of this. So uh, in here, I have three cards, which is my standard, my license, and then, um, you know, debit card. Uh, and then um, that's my normal, what I carry in a wallet. So with this item, I'm able to have that. And then I also have something clipped here and something slid inside of this pocket. So it allows me to beef up my wallet instead of my wallet just carrying my cards for still being very thin, but a little taller than you know a, a normal wallet, I get to carry other items. So what do I have with me? Uh, clipped in this pocket is my Open Mini. So I have a pen and that's in the OD green color to match the OD green wallet. And that is just a, a side bolt action pen. Um, you got the bolt here, push it down, push it up. You're ready to rock and roll. And that is a, the reason I chose this one is it's a very small in diameter pen. So it easily slides right there. The pocket kit clip clips on. And what I like is the pen slides all the way down. So the pen stops right where my finger is. So it's not touching the bottom. That clip is fully attached, ready to go. And as you could tell, it does not fall out. The other item in here, as you can tell, also does not fall out and it is not clipped to the end. So this item, to get this one out, I actually end up just kind of pushing my finger along it until it comes up out of the bottom. And this is a Nightcore tube. So this is a very thin, flat, flashlight and uh, you turn it on oh did I kill it okay so that's that's the one thing that I oh wait I might be in lockout mode okay well if I am in lockout mode I forgot how to get it out of lockout mode and that's what that's the one thing I was worried about of putting this flashlight in there was it accidentally coming on and me not knowing and then it being dead which I believe is what has happened um, so I will definitely plug this in after I get done with this, but it is a very small flashlight. And if I were to put it in lockout mode or were to remember how to get it into lockout mode or out of lockout mode, <laughs> then uh, this will be a great flashlight to have. If it doesn't have lockout mode, then I would say it's definitely not the flashlight for this just because of that's all it takes to, to push it on. Um, but a small flashlight would work wonderfully in here. I thought the tube because of the size, you could also put a cylinder flashlight, a circular flashlight, like, um, like an O-light here that will slide right in and fit great. So lots of different options for putting up flashlights in here. You could even use a flashlight 
of similar size to that, which was a single triple A, a single triple A flashlight that has a pocket clip and just clip it on. That's an excellent, excellent option. And then what I would do, this, this back pocket was empty um, and it didn't stay empty. I would actually choose a, a pocket knife and slide it in um, for that day. And so like, for instance, the one, one of them I carried a lot is the SOG uh, Ultra XR. And this is a very, very thin pocket knife. And most days I would actually slide this one right there. And so on, on, this, uh, not on this bag, I would have a uh, pen, I would have a flashlight, and I would have a knife in addition to my items. So this is a great wallet if you wanna carry more gear with you. Now you have a front zipper here where I actually have a little bit of cash in there. And that's the only thing in that pocket. And then in the main pocket here, I have my, uh, my three cards and I'm just gonna pull those out. But I had three cards in there and then we can look at the inside of this. I love the high vis orange. And I love two things about this. I love the high vis orange and I love that you have the, the pocket, but you also have a slip pocket. So you can actually separate your card. So if you wanted your license by itself, you could slide it on either side and then put the rest of your cards elsewhere. Um, or if, if there was you know, a card you use most often, you wanted separate. But an easy way to separate cards, I actually, uh, inside the little pocket in there, I put my, uh, my gift card. I had a Walmart gift card. So I slid that in there. And then the rest of my three cards were in the main spot. And it worked out great. So uh, this is an awesome little wallet. You do have this little loop here, so you can definitely put it on a lanyard. I like lanyard carrying wallets. Um, so this is a great option for that. And then right up front, hanging off your neck, you have access to your cards, you have access to your cash, you have access to a pen, a flashlight, and a knife. And it's all hanging, you know, right here. So really awesome wallet. I was actually surprised at how much I like this. Um, it's it's good size. It stays very slim depending upon what you pack in it. Uh, it's got the high vis interior, lots of pockets, easy access to the items on the outside. Like this is, this is terrific. And 35 bucks guys, 35 bucks. It's hard to, uh, to beat that. Um, so definitely check it out if you haven't yet. This is the zip pouch pro from Alpaca gear comes in a lot of different materials and colors. Um, and yeah, I mean, I don't think this is going to be the wallet I'm going to go to. I'm actually going to go back to my, um, my uh, uh, Axwell wallet, which is a thin uh, metal wallet. I'm going to go back to that for the summer while I'm wearing shorts. But as soon as pants come back into play, this is what's going to be my go-to wallet. And I said that, but I might actually change. I might rotate between the two because thinking about it now, this is gonna be do better if I'm gonna be like in a water park or something like that. This material might handle much better than a metal wallet. So this might see a lot of summer time carry, whereas I thought my Axwell wallet would. I have a feeling I'm gonna be rotating between the two because they're very different wallets for very different purposes and they're both freaking awesome. So I will probably you'll probably on, on a pocket dump each week, you might see one or the other wallet and you might see them rotate a lot because they fit different different needs, but they're both really good at what they do. So yeah, uh, the uh, Alpaca Gear uh, Zip Pouch Pro, I got the OD Green. I think that's a really cool color. I love OD Green though, that's kind of one of my jams, but lots of different colors and lots of different materials, which is what I like. This is a great material for, um, for staying clean, for easily wiping off. And I haven't tested it with water, but I'm pretty certain it's just gonna bead right off of this. So definitely check them out. I have a discount code below uh, where you can save 10% on your order. So get some stuff from them and let me know what you think. I haven't been disappointed with anything I've gotten. So thanks for hanging out with me guys. I will have a new video for you soon. And remember, EDC, EDC.